Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy Mazira here and we are back with another Clash of Clans video. And guys, listen up, man. This video is going to be the ultimate guide for the Blizzard Lolo. Yes, everything from the scratch to the top, every single little point, little detail, little tips, everything that you may have never heard of that the pros know but no one mentioned it or some players are becoming better players by simply knowing these little points and guys i'm gonna give you everything on this guide so if you like it please make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel hopefully we're gonna have more lolo guides coming because the older lolo guys that i had guys was all on town hall 14 so this will be the first ever lolo guide on town hall 15 and because it's the first one as i said i'm gonna be diving deep very deep stop it get some help into it ah man this is gonna be a long one as well so make sure you take get some popcorn or something and just watch this till the end because it's gonna be nice Ho hopefully who knows maybe it's gonna change your whole you know clash of clans play style or clash of clans career who knows knowing how to lolo let me give you guys that like little um you know explanation knowing how to lolo in clash of clans is gonna open so many doors to you you can there is so many ways basically to lolo guys there is like so many strategies with it there's the blizzard lolo there's a queen charge lolo skelly donut lolo there's a sui lolo and there's a zap lolo so this one of course is gonna be full-on blizzard lolo but because we're gonna be diving deep into it i'm gonna give you also explanation on exactly how to lolo what to lolo what is important what is not important everything guys okay so let's just jump into this video without holding you here for too long and let's go hey but hold on before we go the summary of this video will be first we're going to talk about what to look at when they give you a base or a war or a legends or anything second we're going to talk about where to blizzard third we're going to talk about how to blizzard exactly the invisibility spells fourth we're going to tell you the best ways to sui so how do you sui where do you sui and how do you finish the sui fifth we're gonna give you the path things of lolo and exactly where to start what to look for how to finish the lolo sixth we're gonna tell you exactly how to be loloing smoothly there's a lot of people that just spam the loons and just go you know just i don't know just go with a line of loons or something the line of loons is for town hall 9 man okay we are on town hall 15 the defenses are you know high hp they're important they are they are crazy okay so you need to know exactly how to deploy the loons basically and seventh where this will be kind of in the middle of the sixth but it's the spell placement what is important to freeze when do you freeze what and how do you haste into the defenses where is the best place to put the haste these are the ones that if you have watched other lolo guides you probably never even heard of even people mentioning all these stuff that's why on this one we're gonna give you everything so let's just jump in man all right first off we're gonna show you what exactly you need to be looking on a base when the base opens what do you look for simple as that you are looking for the clan castle that is up there next to the town hall so now you have an you know a, a bit of like an understanding of that's where you want to deploy the blizzard because you want to pull the cc that is important sometimes that i'm gonna explain later in the video but some of the situations that you're gonna get into the cc if you blizzard next to it it's not going to give you as much value or you're not going to get the town hall or the blizzard might die because of the bomb towers which is one of these for example situation right here there's a bomb tower next to the town hall and if you you know just blizzard the normal blizzard here don't forget we are in town hall 15 there's going to be one single tower in front of left there's going to be two scatter queen rc monolith two multi on the lower side let me zoom out so you can see the base better two multi here eagle monolith sweeper sweeper air defense four air defense queen and rc with two scatter take a look at that blizzard value if you just blizzard right there there is not going to be anything that that blizzard is going to give you of course if you're ready to sue into all of this and blow it that's up to you but some people can do it 
including myself i don't want to talk too much about how like uh, you know i'm good in lolo i'm good in that no but i'm gonna tell you some people can lolo that so they go with small blizzard this one the cc is on top so that's where again around that area that you want to blizzard so we're gonna move on to the next base but of course we're gonna come back and do the next steps on these bases but i want you to pause every single time that we are on a new base i'm gonna do like three to four bases but pause the video and take a look at the base imagine yourself attacking it and where would you blizzard that's the first thing i want you to do because guys it's super important when you are looking at the base and knowing where to blizzard in 30 seconds you need to have the mindset of how to blizzard in the first 15 to 20 seconds because you have 10 seconds to plan for the let's say the sui the lalo the final link which is important and that's why guys in the top 100 like players in you know um, global maybe five people do blizzard lalo because it's crazy strategy it's so much going on in it and everyone thinks this is one of the e like this is i would say easiest in lalo but everyone thinks is too easy that's what i don't want you to think it's not too easy but it's so much powerful this strategy so let's go to the next base well you know the drill pause the video and where would you blizzard i hope you guessed right but on this ring basis guys because it's town hall 15 usually on town hall 14 we don't we didn't have monolith or spell towers or this and that so a normal blizzard on the sides of this area would be completely fine and you just sweep the town hall but on town hall 15 guys well sorry for the noise outside man that's crazy i hope it doesn't go too much in the microphone but on town hall 15 guys you really want to get the blimp inside the core i'm gonna give you exact exact some tips on the spell towers as well because sometimes it's gonna be annoying but this is how exactly you need to blizzard the core guys on this base because the cc is on this side usually the tornado guys it's on either you know on the eagle side around here or because we have the monolith now usually people like to bait it because a lot of people might blizzard there so the tornado might be here or there but that's exactly where i'm gonna come to so you can either blizzard from the right side or the left side with the warden ability that is the blizzard way to go in the ring bases and still on this certain ring base because you do not want to sue the town hall guys it's it's gonna be so tough it is possible but it's gonna be so so tough all right now coming to the tips on the spell towers because you need to know these guys not a lot of people do so if you zoom in these are two rage spells but what if there was an invisibility there was a poison it's fine because the poison tower guys don't forget you can go and freeze it freeze the poison tower if you see it and the invisibility tower don't even care about it because once you go and the super wizards land around these areas right when you're you know attacking it if they hit the town hall if they hit the expos if they hit the anything they hit the invisibility tower will somehow go off and don't forget the invisibility tower actually has less invisibility time than your own invisibility spell so by the time that you're dropping the second the third one mostly the third that everything gonna be normal back to normal so you just have to keep on going and making sure the super wizards go right or wrong that is where we're gonna get to how to drop the invisibility spell but let's move on to the next and we're gonna do another base that we're gonna plan exactly you know where to blizzard basically so let's move on this base as you all know it's kind of simple man it's so simple to hit this base guys you have no idea i always have so many swag spells on this base but where do you blizzard because what take a look at the cc now pause the video if you want to guess it be my guest but if you have already guessed it this is where you want to blizzard in this area that the air defense is why do we do that and it's far from the cc like the cc can get pulled or sometimes they it might not get pulled i don't know but there's an invisibility tower there's a poison spell and everything but how and why do we choose to blizzard there it's because guys the value it gives us and because this base there has no trap in these areas right here in the empty areas around this here so what we do is basically drop the blizzard from the top side like around here to go and land and then get scatter get the monolith get the you know multi get the mortar beautiful funnel around this whole area also we're gonna have the archer tower sometimes down or sometimes not if you drop a loon or not that's up to you but then we come to the sweet part but i don't want to go too you know forward for that that is the blizzard part here even with the invisibility spell behind the town hall it's always 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 gonna work sometimes the invisibility spell might go off with a bad timing and make sure you don't get the multi 
but it's fine because it's a multi-tower inferno no one runs singles anymore it's currently an even royal ghost like um you know whole uh, strategy so no one's run single to be honest so that is for this base now let's go back to the first base and i'm going to give you you know the tips on exactly how to drop the invisibility spells so we are back on the first base guys and as we said the cc is on top so we want to blizzard the top side but how do we do it that we get a good value well let me tell you something you can easily try to move away stuff with your hound and the, you know loon you need to be creative a bit with this strategy but that comes up with again experience so what you need to do guys is drop the blimp in a nice angle so around i would say here you can see you can see if you drop the blimp there what is going to happen is that well let me pause this when the hound is dropped so this here is something that not an average player would think of because they always think okay the hound has to go forward then blim has to follow the hound for the traps no that's not how it works because there is not a single person to put traps in this area that the blimp is going that's because well it's not ideal because it's legendary you need your traps to be in a very good place you don't need to risk everything to just bait a blizzard and bait one attack and then a rest of the you know attackers can come and clean up your base with the uh, e-drags and something you know but there is no trap there and this one loon that i dropped is because there could be the trap on the outside once so one trap I don't want to hit the blimp so that's for that but why do we have the hound from this angle it's because there might be trap in this area this is important this is again something that you might never knew because these areas can be trapped because of the area's placement for the blizzard that's why we go around it and drop the hound from this angle so you can see the shadow of the hound going forward around this area this shadow will activate any trap that is here because that's the area that the trap does you know so it will activate anything in this area and the blimp can reach the town hall but what is more important is because no one is maxed in legends that's why a lot of people do not have these bomb towers upgraded and don't forget we got a new level in the wizard so we have a new level of the you know super wizards that means on the bomb tower you can actually land even on top of it but but why do we go from this angle it's because i wanted to make sure i get more than just the town hall and maybe the rage tower and even the expo maybe even if i'm good and fortunate i get the single and that will give me sweeper because they are connected that is a nice way to think of it and i thought about all of that in only 20 ish seconds that is basically that but once you do that, I'm going to play the video because we are talking about the blizzard part now. So we talked about how exactly to do, deploy the blimp on this base. And look at that. I'm deploying it here. Why do I deploy that? So two things is important. You can see the goblins running to the town hall or running around. That is why we have the goblins on the blizzard CC. We don't have archers because the archers would have just stayed here when the blizzard came out. And there will be bombs here that they wouldn't activate. So when the blizzard goes close to the town hall, the bombs is going to kill it. But the goblins run to the town hall but that is nice now we drop the blimp that far because i want to get the you know bomb tower but i'm gonna pause it right here so take a look at this let me play and then pause again this is how you deploy your spells firstly first you need to know what you're going for a lot of times you can just deploy the invisibility normally like around here but what would that do that would make the you know this tower uh, the bomb tower invisible and then what's going to happen is that the blizzard will go sometimes crazy that's why the invisibility towers can hurt you that's why again a lot of people are scared of invisibility towers but not the pros too much that do blizzard lalo because they know how to play with the invisibility now i'm going to put it on um you know 1.2 so look at the next invisibility drop now that i got my value i make the hound invisible so the wizards move forward because they would have hit the hound if i had the same invisibility and now when they're going for the town hall i make the hound again invisible so they are gonna go and take out all the stuff next to the town hall and then come back down to the single inferno and there is also a tornado trap and we still got our value which was all this let me see whole side right here except obviously this x1 stuff but well, you wouldn't be able to get that if you just blimped here you can already see the difference that you know a bit of thinking can make you you know be a better player basically so that was the invisibility drops we're gonna go to the next attack and show you exactly more of this invisibility drops and then we're gonna move on to the sui and this is the base that we talked about that we have to drop the blimp with the warden ability this is why i want to give you some explanation of different angles of how to blizzard so that was one of the you know blizzards that we did on the previous attack 
the you know the loon one then the blimp then the hound on the other side to tank for the you know the traps that would be in that area we don't know if there is but there is always the good risk but look at this blimp this is what i always do with the ring bases with the blizzard right here pop the warden ability even a headhunter could be nice but now take a look at that you need to drop the blimp on these areas on the empty areas like here let me do another color so it doesn't go to the race ball this area right here that is empty there's always bombs there so drop the blimp on that area and sometimes you can even make the town hall invisible with your first invisibility spells so the blizzard do actually target everything else around the town hall first so then if they are too close to the town hall once they took out the town hall they will die that's why you can make the town hall invisible but not in all scenarios but take a look at this invisibilities I dropped the first one here to take out the scatter shots. Now, why do the why did I do that? Because the scatter is important. Now they are going for the town hall or the multi, but look at the other one. I drop it there. So once they take out the town hall and the multi or the multi, they go for the expos because they have options. This is important. I dropped the, uh, the third one kind of similar way. So they have options, guys. If you keep on making this invisible, then they will just go around the base and hit something that you don't want them to hit. But take a look at that. That also brings me to saying to you that because you have goblins, you can also drop the you know blizzard a bit further. I'm so close to the town hall poison. Look at that. I'm so close to it. But I know these timings and everything, so I know how to exactly blizzard there. But if you're new here, you can also land the blizzard here. So the goblins will actually go and activate that. But the invisibility, look, the scatter is here. So make sure you drop the invisibility around this area. So you make sure the blizzard is invisible. And then you make sure everything else is nice and visible. And then you go for the town hall. That is something, again, you might not never knew about it. But the invisibility spell drop is all up to you how the blizzard gets the value out of it now moving on to this space that i've told you we've seen it a lot you've probably seen it even in the low legends it's everywhere but how do you drop the invisibility on this well it's easy you don't actually need to do any kind of like tricks i just told you with the invisibility spell drop it is normal but what is not normal is the way you need to drop the blimp so the blimp look at it i'm dropping in here why and how why do i risk so much it's because i know there is no trap around this archer tower and here this is why i dropped the hound on this side of the army camp so it can go here for this air defense if i drop it a bit to the right it will actually go move forward to the other one if like it's drop around here so you cannot get the traps in between this area that's why i never understood why the people who run this space they don't put traps there it's because well they don't get attacked like this way this is something that no one ex you know expect from you you need to be unexpected in the blizzard because guys if you're a base builder you already designed the base to prevent the blizzard that's the first tax you have as a base builder you need to prevent the blizzard you need to see okay cc is here so most likely the person is gonna blizzard there and this is how exactly they're gonna blizzard that's why these are the ways that we blizzard on legends that are not expected so you can see the angles we're doing with the hound and the blimp but take a look normal invisibility you can just keep on dropping it even on top of each other but i make the scatter and the gold storage invisible so i make sure the blizzard actually touch this multi first so the invisibility spells goes off but it didn't do that so this is why now the invisibility goes off and we're not gonna have enough invisibility spells to get through that multi tower inferno but you can take five invisibility and take a less free spell you have four free spell on this army composition which by the way i'm gonna link it down below if you want to try this out but you can you know easily take five invisibility if you're new to the blizzard you're usually gonna have one in the bag as well when you finish the blizzard but that was it for the blizzard and the invisibility part now we're gonna move on to the sui so we are back at the first base that we blizzard the town hall but what happens after the blizzard well you have two options to sui guys you can always sui the left or the right side of the blizzard i'm gonna pause the video once the super wizards got the value right here they're gonna die to the tornado and everything else but this is the base i'm gonna zoom out everything so you can see this is a huge base but where do you sui there is a ground expo on this side i don't know what color i can use oh my god these colors are crazy 
there's a ground expo hold on a second there's a ground expo here okay so where do you want to see that not get too much damage on the entrance the entrance is important because always 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 i drop my queen that's because i learned from stars he always goes with his queen and doesn't deploy the king why do the pro players do that it's because the king can go and funnel something quicker so let's say here if i drop the king and the queen behind the king is gonna go and funnel all this stuff and the queen is already shooting these stuff and going inside for the storage it's gonna go separate ways sometimes and the king is actually gonna mess the queen so if there's a building left here and the king clears a lot of these stuff faster than the queen can clear these stuff the queen is actually gonna go the wrong way now because there is nothing left on the left side of the queen simple as that i can put it for you that's why i always drop the queen but this is also important that you are pulling the CC. This is going to be the easiest part of this attack strategy that you pull the CC to the corner and also kill it with your enemy queen. Usually you can use the poison early. You can use a free spell as well on it. Doesn't matter. But poison on top of the queen is just going to give you absolutely amazing value out of the hound. But take a look at this. Now I drop the king, but you already can now know where I'm going to sue it. Now let's look at this space. Okay. This space is like a whole, um, let me actually do a bit. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let me do this right here. I'm going to do this right there. And then there's a, like a square, right? I used to do like a circle. But let me give you a square which is better information so now the blizzard took out that top side like that okay that's gone all right now where do you see that there's no damage in the entrance is the right side because there was a ground expo as you remember it right here so that's why you want to do that now suing on the right side will give you value will give you the scatter will give you the enemy queen hopefully my queen can reach the monolith because that's a base building issue you can already see the queen can reach the monolith from the other side of the wall if she's in this compartment right here that's when the queen can reach it now why do i send the king around this area after the lava popped is because on this certain base i don't actually need my king with the queen because in this army you have an ice golem so the ice golem can tank in front of the queen but that's mainly because the king is gonna go and go inside this area with the double wall burkey that i have one of them i'm going to use with the queen one of them i'm going to use with the king so the king can clear this whole side like that with the rc right behind him like that rc is going to join in and they're going to get this value as well queen is going to grab these stuff for me and hopefully the monolith the sweeper is going to stay up but these will all be down like that going forward and this is where we come to the lolo part but i'm going to of course show you the sui and i'm going to give you you know simple tips on how to use some of the spells you can also use up to two free spells with your suit because you saw my attacks before i always have you know free spells at the end sometimes but on this base take a look at this multi tower infernos with the rage spell eagle two air expos and the sweeper this is one of the most deadliest literary entrants that i've ever done with the lolo that's why sometimes you might need to use the free spells very early. So let's go and play the sweet part and see what we can get out of this value. I'm going to explain this. I dropped the ice golem right in front of the queen to go here and go tank in front of the queen because there's also, again, the ground expo that we didn't take out. So I dropped the giant as well because I see the ice golem is going down. Queen targeting my king, but I freeze that. I freeze the scatter and the enemy queen. RC right there with the wizard because the wizard is not going to get targeted. So everything can keep on going forward with each other and have a good funnel overall. The king did not go to the area that I wanted it to go. It went inside, but it's coming back to the outside. Now, I'm not going to give you the, you know, the part with the Lalo yet. That was the Sui part. We're going to move on to the next base and give you again tips for the Sui and how exactly you need to start the Sui. But I hope you got an understanding on this certain base, for example, that if you blizzard here, where do you start the Sui? That's exactly what I wanted to reach on this base. Let's move on to the next. All right. This was the base that we blizzard the middle, you know, obviously the core. So I'm going to give you like um, the tips for a Sui, of course. But before we go to that, make sure you pause the video and actually, you know, guess where do we sue after this beautiful blizzard value in the core. And uh, I'm actually going to pause it as well to explain to you. But pause the video and see where do you want to sue it. Now that you've done that, I'm actually going to give you exactly where do you want to sue it. Because we didn't take out the monolith, do not send your heroes to that bad boy because it's going to bless them and send them right to heaven. 
it's impossible to see that monolith you need to spend few you know free spells and take a look we have the warden tower the single tower the enemy king and also the enemy queen it's good to get the enemy queen but not in this scenario in this scenario you want to sui the other side like here you want to go in get the eagle first get a few expos and then lalo but let's go to the sweet part so what do i do is pull the hound again there's gonna be a hound and a few archers so you can easily take out with the queen but make sure you have the funnel set when the queen is dealing with the hound make sure you have the funnel set around this area so she doesn't go up because if she goes up you're gonna have a lot of trouble man it's gonna be somehow impossible to sui that monolith and it's even level one so it's even more crazy like it's, it's not even even more crazy it's crazy imagine if it was level two so now i'm gonna funnel the king but not soon enough i'm gonna wall break so make sure the queen goes in now let's see when do i drop the king you can already see that the queen doesn't have to deal with any damage so i'm not dropping the king too much early the king is gonna go in because i funnel it with the sneaky goblin and you can see already that the sui is moving forward to this whole area rc coming in on the flank to help out the king with giant to tank for the rc of this archer tower and then the queen has the you know have to go in if she doesn't go in there's gonna be so much harder to you know lolo this base but now you can see the queen taking out the eagle again i can use the free spells i have four free so i'm freezing this double expos this gives me access to have you know the queen ability for much longer time and also take a look we have the king ability here and the rc so these expos will actually start locking onto these two heroes so the queen can actually survive even longer so that's why you can already see one free spell can give you so much more value but again i'm gonna pause it here this is a lolo part i'm gonna give you all the explanation on the lolo part as well but let's move on to the first base we're not gonna talk about the other base because the video will just be too long so you already got an idea of how to start the sui what to use like a sneaky goblin wall breaker when to deploy the king how to deploy the ice golem and how exactly to use that one free spell that if you have four invisibility and not five you have one more freeze you can use it so much easier with the hero but why do i have four freeze that was a question that a lot of people asked me before it's because guys sometimes you need to freeze the sweeper with the blimp a lot of times usually you know if you're trying to blimp let's say an area and the sweeper is pointing at you you don't want to risk not having to freeze it that's why if you only have three spells you know three free spells well <laughs> you can drop one but you're gonna have two left you know in two left with lolo sometimes is not bad but you know sometimes it's not enough because you might have to save the attack and you don't have the free spell that is for that but let's go to the first base now we are doing the sui part but what is important here it's basically guys even if you get so much value with the sui you still need to have a decent lolo and i'm gonna pause the video exactly where i'm gonna you know drop the lolo to give you some you know explanation of how and what is the plan take a look at this base why did i start the lolo here why it's because the rc is alive right here you can see here i'm gonna zoom in <laughs> but the rc is alive the queen is alive and the expo is already tanking the rc these are all on the rc take a look at that that is beautiful to have so much damage getting off the shoulder of the loons that's why we start the lolo but let me give you the path thing of here take a look at this lolo it's gonna go through here and hopefully that around the monolith and going up this is like an l shape i've explained that before but if you want to obviously take a better look at it it's like that basically it's like an l you know it's, it's better to draw it like that but i want to have you know better pathing to through the base but how do you lolo this is important the first town always needs to be in a certain area that take a look at this you know air defense basically if the air defense is there you don't want to drop the hound here or here or here you know because well it's not going to trigger any trap around this area that there are multi and stuff and maybe even the tesla farm if some certain bases have it there's going to be so many traps there so you want to drop the hound somewhere that it goes for this air defense in a way that it can also tank all these defenses guys take a look at that how many defenses this hound can tank but of course it's going to die early which will be getting to the next part of the lolo but now let me go back here and this is how you're going to start the lolo loons like that why did i drop the loons like this because there is a lot of defenses in the same line look at how many defenses there is if you want to go with three loons here three loons here three 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 
that's gonna take so long so I drop three 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 but with three different fingers that's why I do this because the hound by the time you're dropping all the loons your hound is gonna die that's why you need to be fast with the starting of the lalo then you want to drop the warden quite fast right behind your loons as well in an area that can you know cover quite a bit of the loons take a look at this aura this is something that some people don't even tell you or you might have no idea but the warden gives extra HP to the loons guys it's a few percentage that he adds to the loons so now the multi is gonna kill the loons a bit you know later basically but that is the deployment of the loons but mainly I'm gonna give it on to the next attack you want to drop three to four group of loons on each defense why is it three and four it's well because if you haven't watched my other lolo guys it's basically so simple you need to have a, a rhythm a smooth movement through the base what does that mean that means the loons when they get to the defense they need to take it out and move on because that's what they're good at that's why you drop three because nearly every defense in this game except the high hp ones they die with three loons air defense archer tower tesla and um, cannon mortar they all die with three loons that's why you need to drop three but take a look because there is a wizard tower on this right side i drop four on it so when they reach it they go forward they keep going forward and make sure this group of the loons which these are my main group this doesn't count as the main group of the loons, the left one. The left one is there to funnel this side, this Tesla, and this cannon, and this is, that's just the left group. The main group is gonna go in like that, like a river. That's exactly how you need to drop the loons. But let me play this. So, one, I'm gonna put it on actually, you know, zero. We use a free spell on the multi because sometimes it's important. Queen is taking out that monolith nicely for me. Her ability goes off. Thankfully, I didn't, you know, manage to, you know, fail. But look at that. What happened there? It's, guys, so simple. Now, I put the video a bit back in case you miss it. Take a look at my hound. It popped up, but it died so early. So now, what I'm trying to do is you can see the RC. I'm going to pause it. It's struggling with the king. So I need these three headhunters to go in and grab the king for me and also because there is two multi and there is nothing in front of my loons i need the early warden ability and usually on these bases you need the early warden ability but why do we send this hound which is the second hound or basically the third hound of course but this is the second hound of the lalo in you know behind the warden is because we're gonna drop the headhunters here too so when the warden keeps on going like around here i can pop a juicy warden ability so this hound is actually protected to keep on going for this air defense which is gonna tank this 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 the RC the scatter and maybe even this archer tower that hound is gonna have literally five times the HP of my older hound that's basically the best value you can get out of the warden ability headhunters on the behind on the back of the warden ability and then warden and then pop the warden ability RC is unfortunately dead because it was a late headhunter but it doesn't matter I didn't want to go too much early of the warden ability now take a look at my deployment why did I do that and why not to let the loons just go you know just go inside the base it's because this main group is going forward but what is going to happen if you don't drop these loons coming from the sides this is what's going to happen that i'm going to tell you these loons are going to keep on going on the outside exactly happen like that so what happens is this area that the rc and the scatter and the air defense and the wizard tower they are going to get protected and skipped everything is gonna skip that area and that is why we drop these loons when these are being tanked take a look take a look at this wizard tower it's tanking the hound take a look at the rc take a look at this archer tower right here so these are all being tanked by that one hound that we popped the warden ability so these loons have the most freedom ever to come in and grab these defenses right here so make sure this main group of loons keep on going forward like that. You can see the river already because now I'm going to also drop some loons some other angles. Take a look. 
Now I'm looking and this archer tower is shooting the hound so that is the best way to drop the loons on it but sometimes you might not have the loons. And now the headhunters are going through the base, can they make it to the RC? I do not know but let's put it on one time, I freeze the scatter, I cannot get too much of a value with the freeze but look at the top side, I drop a loon on that mortar. Again that's the same way to make sure this area is completely surrounded by the main group of loons going forward and nothing going Going actually on the outside for the other defenses on this base we didn't have too much of outside defenses like here so mainly that was for me to have even a smoother path now you have the haste spells these are the ways that you can use the spells guys look at the freezes look at the haste you are gonna haste somewhere that the loons you know they are gonna step into it so for example I'm gonna pause and right now where do I haste well we have this group that they are going for the archer tower but the main group that needs to be haste is this one but what happens if you want to be even a better player is wait and haste around this area so they go in different angles and fast as possible and they take out every single thing as you know possible basically and what is going to happen is that haste ball will actually give you access to the loons coming back for the cleanup that's how exactly you know you can use the spell but take a look at how i use it i use it in the between of these two defenses so when the loons come together they now can go these angles on the haste ball even the backside loon can still get a haste into the other you know expos of course we got it a bit you know closer but it was a very tough base that i hit it's a high legends you know as you you know saw from my you know trophies these are very high legends bases that I'm bringing you for you. That's why this video will even be uploaded a bit later. So, you know, you the bases don't get too much exposed basically for the attacker. All right, we are on that ring base and the heroes are doing their best that they can to take out some of the certain stuff. But this is where I'm going to pause it. That do not forget you do not have the warden. This is what I also want to explain to you. A lot of the you know bases that you hit might be ring bases. A lot of the time you might have to use the warden with the blip. But not everyone tells you exactly how to lolo after that. They always say, you know, easy blizzard, you know, beautiful value, super archer, cloned blimp. But you use the warden. What do you do after that? Like, how do you lolo after that without the warden? Well, it's going to be not easy this time. It's not as easy as the before. But it is very, very, very possible. And when you do it, you're going to have such a good feeling. But let me play this. So the heroes are doing their best to get this base as well. But now, because I have the king, I have the RC, I have the queen, I am going to start the Lalo early. But guys, again, do not wait for the heroes to die because that's going to be such a pain. Take a look at these expos and this multi is already targeting this RC and the king and even few barbarians soon. So they're all being tanked. This archer tower, the wizard tower, these are all still on my heroes, guys. So these don't even count as a part of Lalo. But what happens if you wait too much? Because look, these expos, sometimes they might not go down if you lost the queen. This, you know, um, multi might be targeting your main group of loons that are going to come from this angle to this area. The queen might even get distracted with the king right here when he's going forward very soon. So you might have more time to deploy the headhunters. These are why you start the lolo when the heroes are in an angle for it. But why do we not start from the other side? Well, it's because of, again, the tanking that the heroes can provide to you. You usually start the Lalo with the same sides, so you sometimes even hold on your Royal Champion ability with the Warden ability. You can save the Royal Champion, you can save the King, you can save a lot of your heroes with the Warden ability. But of course in this scenario we do not have the warden so let me play this on the zero and guys this is how I'm gonna lolo. I drop a few loons on here so they take out the air defense but what are these loons for? Well it's simple these loons are for these two buildings right here because the RC is dying. It might go through ability but the ability might not go this way. So you need few loons on this side coming for this whole core right here right around this area. I know it's getting a bit messy but I hope you understand it. Now let me play this. Minions is one of the most important parts of the Lalo. Our similarity goes off and now look at the other hound with the loons. I drop four loons on here. But why do I say four when I said the cannon can go down in three? It's because there's a wizard tower behind it. So I need four to take out the cannon and 
go to the wizard tower what if there's even a seeking air mine and you're gonna lose one loon that's still gonna be fine having three loons but if you have let's say two loons left for the wizard tower that's where it's gonna get a bit tougher to get through and go fast you need to go fast inside the base i'm gonna play this again but look at the multi he's targeting the diggy which went underground of course but the rc my king and some few barbarians but that is the tank of the you know multi and it's not gonna be hitting my loons anytime soon but it's even gonna hit my loons a few times but look at the headhunters i dropped is for the queen because she walked on the outside if the queen doesn't walk on the outside and she's inside you can do this i'm gonna give you this tip with the headhunters drop the haste on the outside or a bit on the inside but my my personal preference is on the outside then drop three headhunters like that but don't drop them in the same area or don't drop them at the same time drop one two three they will go through the haste and kill the enemy queen really fast if there's a ground expo in this area this is again something that people don't tell you if there is a ground expo you need to freeze it because it's going to take out your headhunters in literally like one second because there's also a cannon sometimes you saw the cannon was targeting my headhunter but the loons took it out in time so now i'm freezing that side with this but look at that freeze i can get two you know area with it take a look at the top side that i'm already starting i have three hound for this area but two of them are very low so what i do i drop a hound on top to go from this angle why do i do that it's because i do not know if there's any trap in here so i need the hound to activate it and now these loons coming is because this archer tower is being tanked these loons and these loons why do i do those two first and not go here and here it's because this other archer tower needs to go down so this main group that you do not forget that are coming forward like that they don't go on the outside like here here and then there and then there they, they have to keep on going forward i'm gonna do this with another color like that going forward on this base this is the pathing of the loons you don't need them to go on this outside right here this area is rubbish you don't need it to be alive that's why i'm going to take it out one loon for that air defense is fine but i dropped two but look at i'm dropping more and i got the tornado trap activated as well but take a look at the lol i'm gonna zoom out haste bow through that whole area take a look haste bow is dropping here so you can drop the loons here there 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 and then move on to the cannon this haste bow gives me access to four defenses in one or two seconds it's simple as that and now monolith is not a huge threat to the loons that is good but take a look at the side here because there is not much damage around this area i drop two loons just alone for the wizard tower because they can easily take it out and even activate some traps Take a look at the spell placement as well everything is going smoothly because i actually got this whole area down but you might have missed that i dropped minions behind every single group of loons that i dropped always as that always drop the minions because they're gonna be so much help in the cleanup and now we're gonna smash this base absolutely we didn't even need the last haste ball and look at that my queen is just about to go down but still alive it's because i started the lolo my king is still alive if you would have wait and let them die the lolo would not be as strong guys trust me because you don't have the warden that doesn't mean you're not gonna have other heroes with the lolo you could have rc you could have queen and you could even have the king with the lolo and guys that was it for the video all my days i talked so much i've never talked this much in a single video man i don't know how long is that i think maybe 45 minutes or something i don't know i have to edit it and see how long that became but guys i hope you like this video and of course i'm praying that you learn something new on this video because that's what i'm here for man i'm here to give you all my knowledge on every single scenario that i you know know of that i know i can help you why wouldn't i i want to give out to the people out there okay you guys have been supporting me and i love you for that so if you also enjoyed this video make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel hopefully we're gonna have more lolo guys but this was the longer version of it so you know the next ones are gonna be very much shorter so you can get the you know early like you know um early ways of lolo this was basically i can put it like that so the early stage that's why i need you to see this video it's just something that it might change you and the whole place so as i said in the intro but yeah guys i hope you have an absolutely amazing day so i'll hopefully see you on the next one take care peace